In today's pedicure, I'm going to show you how to care for and cut elderly toenails to remove the buildup of excessive dry skin around the toenails and feet. So stay tuned. The discoloration on the top of the toenails is from her shoes putting too much pressure on the long nails causing stress on the nail bed. Pedicures are actually more important in the fall and winter for the health of the feet and the toenails. So keep watching to learn how to help your loved ones so they don't suffer with painful toenails this winter. Bruce is showing me some pictures. That did he show you some? That shit. Oh yeah, it was beautiful. unbelievably big. It was. Think you'll do that again someday? Oh sure. If you have been waiting to order something from my online store, today is the day. The entire nail supply section of the store is 20% off until December 18th. There is a shipping code later on in the video as well. Before attempting to cut long toenails at home, soak the feet in warm water for about 10 minutes first. The combination of the cuticle remover and the warm water will make cutting the nails much easier. Keep the blade of the toenail nippers parallel to where the toenail meets the tip of the toe. It seems as though when elderly people live in an assisted living facility, they don't get to shower as often as they would like. This causes excessive skin buildup on their feet and under their toenails, and it's my job to get all that off. During this pedicure, I will have to put her foot in and out of the water alternating feet while I work gently on removing that buildup with my tools. This tool is the ingrown toenail rasp. It has a serrated edge to pull out dead skin easier and to file sharp edges off the toenail. All of the tools you see me using in this pedicure today are available to purchase on my online store. And don't forget to leave me a comment to be entered into the drawing to win one of the tools I am using in the video. But remember to subscribe because you must be subscribed to win. No, oh, that's insane. It's a captive audience. Oh, I bet. Something like that. They regulate the calcium. Oh, gotcha. So anyway, what happens is you get symptoms like I, you know, who knew? Uh, I have really problems with my stomach, and you know, eating and that things just don't do well, and I have like really almost pain. Oh God, I'm coming to an ulcer. Like reflux or something, or? No, I have that, but uh, that's pretty much controlled at this point. I still get it once in a while. No, it's, um, just like pain in the stomach where you feel like, uh, you ate something that really didn't agree with you. Oh, my. And you get it sometimes with the eating or not. And that is, the calcium is very irritating to the stomach. Like I said, who knew? Somebody and this woman that I went to see, the surgeon, gets her specialty for the parathyroid glands because they're hard to find. So on the 11th, I have to go in and they'll do a, um, insert some dye and that kind of lights up those little suckers. Right. So she can pinpoint more accurately where they are. And then I get my throat slit on the 22nd of January. Literally. So they're going to remove them? They can only remove up to three and a half, which oh. you will get the one, the force for this usually. Oh. she'll get that thing to see. <coughs> I'm not looking forward to that, but I have to stay overnight. So I thought, oh my God, what are you sure? She's 11 now. Well, they're going to take care of her. Oh, good. And she can just stay in her little room because that's what she used to do. Hopefully I'll be back by around noon on the next day. Well, that's good. It's just 
outpatient. I, that. I mean, I'll give you some money for it, of course, but it was, uh, no, not quite outpatient. You got to stay. Oh. You have to stay overnight. And I thought, I'm, I'm just not up for another surgery, but you don't get those choices. Uh-uh. No, not, not when that stuff comes up. And the weakness, I had a lot of weakness, which I thought, well, it's age. You know, you chop most everything up to age. And uh, my knees have been horrible. And I thought, well, it's been, what, 20 years? It's supposed to be replaced. And I swear I'm taking a look. And, like, oh. <laughs> and part of that is they're being aggravated now by the calcium coming out. Oh. Because I had a, a bone density in 2006. Do you get kidney stones? Yeah. <clears throat> I thought having a lot of calcium could make yeah, kidney you, stones you are worse. Yes. Not that I know of, but then you never know. I get those uh, urinary tract infections. Is that or something? Mm -hmm. But it's really getting ridiculous. I get up every morning and say, don't say it, don't say it, because some system's going to blow up today. <laughs> then yesterday losing the crown, I said, oh, my God. Because the worst thing about that is we have to pay to get a picture. I can't pull this one back on. Exciting life. My social life consists of now it's better because I come here. <laughs> but it consists mostly of doctors. Yeah, that's no good. No fun. No. But I'm back with my original doctor. I got rid of the two I had taken up with when I moved to Selena. And I didn't like them at all. He, the one doctor had seen this happen. saying, well, we'll talk about that next time. <laughs> so I would probably could have had this done like two years. Yeah, and it probably would have prevented a lot of other things. Yes. It would have. And so first thing that for sure says is you gotta get that taken care of. Well like I said, we don't need to get in that much trouble. Yeah. And I didn't remember, you know, you learn all this stuff. Did you do regular nail work? Or yeah. Or just the fancy? Um, the competition was just kind of fancy. Oh, I didn't know it was a competition. There, there was one at the end of the week. But I did um, do someone's toes. and But it was mostly for fingernail education. Yeah. Well, I bet they liked you. Because it, it does look real finished when you get finished. It finishes yeah. me. Well, I'm trying to find a time to fit this in for our go for surgery. Because I'll be in two to three weeks, say, depending on how well it's healing. I don't get an infection. I got this last place a lot of infections in my throat, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Well, they go from the outside in, so. I never knew I was going to voluntarily pay for getting my throat cut. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not sure just exactly where it is. I think it's fairly low on the throat, 
It will be where it will be, and then I'll have a sore throat for quite a while. And I thought, wow, well, gee, that's no surprise when you cut a throat, you're going to get a sore. Yeah. And then, uh, horse. Oh, yeah. And he said sometimes, because you're, uh, the nerve for your talking mm -hmm, your vocal is cords. right in there. And sometimes he gets nicked, and then we talk. But I'm hoarse now. I can feel it. I've been that way for a long time. I can't sing anymore. I used to sing all the time. Now I'm a baritone. I, would just mm -hmm. I can't sing at all. Oh, I played the piano and sang, but I got rid of my piano because there's no place to put it in that piano. But now I can relook because maybe if I can get, get here, I, I was thinking if I came on a Tuesday or Thursday, maybe Mary could pick me up. And if she can't, Bruce can. I know, but that's really what bothers me on. Just because I'm older and been coming here. I have been coming here for a long time. Mm -hmm. Not steadily lately, but I did for a long time. I came every four weeks. Then I started getting my hair done. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget when Callie cut it the first time I almost fainted because this is what was left. This color. I had no idea. I thought it would take like maybe four or five cuts before the real color popped out. Right. And here it is. And it's beautiful. It is. I don't mind it at all. I think it's pretty. Because it doesn't look white or gray. Mm -mm. I don't know. I just realized that. Well, just wait because now I've got all the salt. I might tickle you to death with this. <laughs> thinking of they were talking about or showing people shopping. Well, even cowboy boots. Cowboy boots were really pointed, so yeah, even the people boots. weren't wearing heels. They I were wore still... with my jeans. I love the look. Mm -hmm. I wear cowboy boots all the time. Of course, then being a nurse, you're on your feet all the time.
shocked when I was trying to get appointments in. Because I can't get rides here, as I said, Tuesdays or Thursdays. Okay. Or past noon on Fridays. He has to be back at noon to take the uh, memory care thing for oh. out someplace, which I think is very important for them to not just stay in one little room. But it makes it really, really hard to get places. happens just keep the appointment and call you know that morning and we'll just come and get you I don't understand what, I didn't get what you like did. if you book for four weeks out and your ride falls through then oh. just call us and we'll still come and get you there's always somebody extra here now helping Bruce during the day so he can leave for a few minutes I said I had a facial on Friday because I had what I call dandruff of the skin. Yeah. From being so dry and my eyebrows lowered. You could go like this and there'd be big Flaky. pieces of white flakes coming up my neck. Oh my God. When did, when did all this go to hell in the hand? <laughs> well, that's and what it we're for. Felt so wonderful. You gotta get exfoliated every now and then. You gotta get what? Exfoliated every now yeah, and then. Yes. Well, I started to say about that cream, you know, that I didn't, I've got thin legs, but they've gotten skinny. I've lost about yeah, you look thin. five or 30 pounds since I've been at an awful place. It's because their well, food is terrible. I just don't eat. And I thought, you know, I can't buy one of those jars. I would need a vat. Soaking <laughs> all the way up to the neck. <laughs> well, you can't tell me that little bit of jar is going to do something and last any length of time. Yeah, I know. I get hundreds of questions every day about my tools and numerous positive comments about the quality and ease of use. You should treat yourself to a few professional items to assist you at home this holiday season. I left a link to the online store in the description. Once on the store, click the products, then nail care and holiday specials to navigate to what you want to look at. The sale ends on December 18th, so order today so we have time to ship to you to get there by the holidays. I go home, I'm one of those people too that as soon as I go home and wash my face. I don't want to get powder on me. Right. But I've gotten heavy lines here. And I've gotten You've got beautiful skin Joyce. Really? Oh yeah. Your skin is lovely. Mary says that and I think she's pulling my lighting. No. This isn't lovely. This is new, all of these. I have more wrinkles on my forehead than you have on yours. Look at them. They're like Sharpay wrinkles. <laughs> I'd hardly call you that. I'd 
never notice. And it's only when you just did what you did. <laughs> well, I'm doing that all the time. <laughs> well, that's what I do. I, I'm not seeing well, and I realize that I'm doing this a lot. Yeah. And boy, it doesn't take long. And we were, I was talking to one of my friends. She says, well, maybe you should, if it bothers you, try that Botox. I said, they wouldn't get within... 20 feet of me with the Botox. You no, know, I'm like afraid of Botox much. too. I'm afraid I'd have an allergic reaction to it. I just think it's, you know, ridiculous. I'm allergic to everything. Oh, are you? Oh. I'd be food terrified. Stuff? Oh yeah, I have terrible food allergies. Oh, that's a shame, because it makes it hard to plan meals and stuff. Although, you're probably used to it. Right? Yeah. And they're absolutely, absolutely no good for anybody. No, uh -uh. so potato chips, I can't have potato chips. Well, I learned to not eat a lot of that stuff because they're salty and we didn't have a lot of salt in the house because my mom had a bad heart. So I learned to eat the only, there's two things I don't put salt on. And one's corn on the cob, which I don't eat much anymore. And the other's tomatoes, sliced tomatoes, fresh ones. Gotta have them. Salt. You put salt on them? Yeah. Otherwise, I don't salt my baked potatoes. Because I put butter on it. For her? No, because you know why? They'll say, oh, they're just yellow. <laughs> they pay them 10 bucks an hour. What do you expect? Yeah. So they're defending the person? Oh, always. As a matter of fact, they had one of those IRAs that Laura's, that Laura's the one I like the best. She's like, is the boss when the boss is off and the boss is too. Laura does a good job. And um, she said what to one of them. She took, them, took her aside and she was new. We had about five or six walk off the job. I mean, they give them heavy schedules and stuff. I wouldn't want to do it for that kind of money. I would like taking care of the older people because I always do. And they can be difficult, but they're also scary. Uh -huh. They also don't have much life left. I would sit there and think, oh, right, I don't Terrified. have much life left. Why is it ending up so badly? Mm -hmm. What did I do? Yeah, you need to have some fun. I'm that fun. Let me relax your foot. Let me get in there. But you know what? My friends are gone. Need to make new friends. You guys need to start a party group. Well, you know what? <laughs> I, I, that's my fault because I don't go out and go visit with anybody. Because I, I said, I don't go spend time with those old people. And they're like, what do you mean? I think, uh-huh. What about the old people? <laughs> start a card group or something. Oh, I don't well, you guys, there's some yeah, find something that you like. Players in there. Find something that you like to do. And... Well, I like to make cards, and they brought somebody in, and she was very nice lady, but didn't know what she was doing. Aww. She tried. Do you know I've never made a pot roast in my life? What? Never. Oh my gosh, I tried to make a pot roast like once a week. We never had it at home, and I don't know why. There's only a few things that Bruce lets me make. <laughs> That's one of them. That's one of them, huh? Yeah. Who I'll does the turkey? He, he does. He does? Yeah. I make really good I love rooms. to cook a turkey. Too. I make really good fried chicken. Do you? Yeah. Where can you, now, take it away from your chicken, but where can you buy decent fried chicken in this area? I love it, but I don't like the flavor, the herb flavors that are in Kentucky Fried. Mm -hmm. The only pre-cooked chicken I ever buy is the rotisserie chickens at the grocery store. Yeah, I'll I've buy got, that just because it's slow roasted and there's nothing they're really. They're moist. Yeah. I got some the last time uh, at Meyer, and I just took, I got two, and I took them all apart and then put them in little packages and put them in the freezer. Right. And they are moist and delicious, and they're not salty, but... I don't put any salt on them. Yeah. No, I don't like any, like I don't buy from next door. Whoa. What's next door? The KFC. No, I got them a couple of days ago. They said how good it was. And I thought, oh my God, how can you eat that? Yeah, it's like coated in leather. 
but it, it just, it's the herb taste I don't like. And they put out a notice of something they're doing at the store, I, I call it the storage bin for old people. And I, uh, well, that's what I feel they do is, you know, pay the rent and don't bother us. I'm sorry you had to get a new one though. Well, we started using a new disinfectant and it ruined our tub. Really? Yes. And we even called the manufacturer when we got it and said... To check on it? Yes, to make sure that it was safe to use on our tub. And they said, oh yes, 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 it's fine. And we used it for couple of weeks and I said you know something's going on here I don't know what it is and then all of a sudden it was just too late that you couldn't save it. So when did you peel it off? The... It like etched everything it looked like somebody um, like threw chalk on it you know it was all like chalky and weird yeah. and and you, so couldn't you couldn't clean get it, it clean. off. No, well, no, because it wasn't on it. It was etched into it. Yes, because the the product ate it. Yeah, it didn't stick something to it. It actually ate it. And of course, they did nothing about it. Oh, we didn't tell them. Did you sue them? No, I didn't even tell them. I don't like. Probably it. wouldn't win, and then you have a lawyer bill. Oh, now that feels good. Uh-huh. Everybody laughs when I go. They said, you don't have to leave a note for us. I leave a note outside on my door because they come in daily and empty your waste baskets. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> and I said, I'm out at another point, but but Shira is home and she's been fed because Laura, if she comes in, she'll feed her. She likes to feed her. She says it's our bonding. Oh. Whatever. And Shira stands behind her and barks her head off as she gets fed. Right. I said, you have to do that once and you got them trained. Yeah. Try to train them into something good, and they like, what do you want me to do? Right. So anyway, I leave the note, and she says, because we don't hear a sound coming from your apartment. Whereas when I'm home and somebody's in the hall, it's not a sheep. For a four-pound dog, she sounds like a Rottweiler. She's protecting you. Yeah, that's what they said. She's a good guard. She is a good little guard dog. Loud but good. <laughs> All right. I can't believe she's 11 already. Yeah, gosh. But not a sound when I'm not. I think she sleeps. Yeah, so she I, does. I put the blankets on the couch. I sleep on the couch still. I'm sleeping in the bedroom. I've done that for a long time. I sleep better there. It's comfortable? Yeah. It's an eight foot long couch. I wish it was about a half a foot wider. But we work it out. I sleep, and if I turn to my right side, she's happy because she gets behind my knees. Mm -hmm. uh, I plump up the blankets in different little piles so she can pick where she wants to be. pick something, it'll probably be the most unlikely thing. You think, Where'd that come from? Right. Doesn't want to follow in this business, huh? No. How about your younger son? No. No? No. Oh, that's a shame. Because you build up a nice business here. Or at least it appears to be from my perspective. Oh, yeah. I don't know how yeah, many no, clients you have. But I see plenty coming and going. And you've got some very nice people. Thank you. That work here. Yes, they're, they're 
That's what they are missing, and I'm serious about that. I'm not the only one. There's another lady that has a dog. They don't see her from week to week. So there's quite a few people I don't come out. They don't want to. And they shouldn't have to. But no, I didn't think my life was going to end up like this. You never do, I guess. No. But they've got some really snotty, those ARs are snotty. They had some nice ones before when I was first there. But I don't use them now, so I don't know. Yeah, you know, I don't know them really well. I just know this one. I thought, what's up with this crap in the hall and not saying hello? Yeah. That's not nice. All it takes not is a hi, nice. how you doing? Yeah. Oh well, quit complaining. It doesn't do me any good. What's that? It's just something to help keep your toes moisturized and nice and mm. healthy. They feel good when you get through with that. Good. All right, you can put that one down here on the side, and then you can move that one up here, and I'll finish cleaning. What it is? She says platinum. I don't see it, but. You got your shopping started? Nope. Oh. I don't shop until 
about the week before Christmas. Probably get better deals then than you would if you went now. Well, I just can't think about it. I have to compartmentalize. I have too many other things to get done <laughs> first. You got your priorities set, right? I have to manage my stress level. <laughs> Well, that's how you do it, is not look at everything all at once. Yeah, can't do it. I don't even make a list until... Well, the only time I had trouble is when there were five of us that got together every holiday and then we exchanged gifts at Christmas. Not one of us needed one thing for our apartments. Right. But, and, which made it harder. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time. Here are some other great video suggestions for you. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.